and I'll still be able to top it off from the top going down, but I thought before I fill this leg up, I'm going to stuff some in the crotch area down here because that pocket area is going to have some filling in it. Polyfill. I am not putting glass beads in the torso. You can do whatever you want with yours, but what I'm thinking is this doll is not this doll needs to have most of its weight in the legs and less weight in the head and torso to be able to stand and not fall over. And plus I want it to um, I want it to be able to pose in different like on its tummy looking up um, it doesn't this doll is not you can hold it and still kind of like hug it and cuddle it but it's not going to be like your normal weighted um, squishy body other than the feeling of the polyfill so what I'm doing here is I'm working on making a nice little tush because this body does not have the little scrunchy butt crack area to define the bottom and I'm not putting um, glass beads in this bottom I don't want it to fall over backwards so all I want to do is make a nice little tush and I'll be able to get that in there and then I can go through this way to get more in the other side I can also use my I think these are called hemostats I'm not sure if that's how you say it and I'm terrible at remembering names of things I'm going to use these just to get it over there so I can add some more okay and then I'm going to stuff some in the front here and I'll be able to like I said go in through my hand here and get some but I want to get a good majority of that in there And then I'll close off that leg. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use these to push it all the way over. And I'll be giving her more of a tummy here, but I wanted to get this little hip area right there. We're just going to do the crotch area down here and I'll fill the rest from the top so just getting that nice little I don't feel the armature at all right here and that little pocket thing I made I just think that's the way to go starting to feel like a little teddy bear get a little bit more on this side but I'm going to go through the top with the hemostats. I'm going to go ahead and close this part off. I think I can also go in and add more butt if I want to through the top. Let's get this leg on here. I don't like to have any polyfill in the groove of where the cable tie goes. So I make sure that is all on the inside. Okay, I ended up having to cut that cable tie and put a new one on so I could get that on there. And I am not cinching it tight quite yet. I still want to like fill it full and then I want to see if I can rotate the legs um, freely like I was doing earlier before I do the final tightening but it's on there pretty good. It's not going to come off yet while I continue um, with the rest of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the arms on and we're going to fill it full and then clip off the cables. Let's turn this down just a tad so you can see. Okay, so what we're doing is got each arm here 
make sure you put the right arm on the right side of the body. So I'm going to show you how far this arm... Oh! I did it again! I Normally I'm upright and not on a table installing an arm. So a little bit of glass beads came out. Not a whole lot. Well, that went in real easy. At least I could see exactly where it went. So it wasn't too bad. The fact that they kind of roll like little teeny tiny micro my marbles. They were real easy to scoop with this piece of cardboard. Okay, so we got that in there. I gotta remember to leave that upright. And before I even tilt it again, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of polyfill to prevent it from going forward again. So you're gonna put a little bit in there to block it off. Should have done that earlier. But I wanted everything to be on camera. So I'm gonna shove that down in there block off those glass beads so they stay in the lower part of the forearm and the hands. Nice thing about really fine glass beads is um, they get right in all the little small areas where a larger bead won't and I mean I'm talking about larger larger and I shouldn't say they won't. They will, but you might be able to fill the bigger beads or plastic pellets. You might be able to hear them more with the with the glass, the really fine glass beads. It just makes it kind of a squishy little feel. But I'm going to go ahead and get this armature going in there. And you just kind of you can feel it bending. It's real flexible, so it's bending. And you don't have to be too concerned to, to get it all the way to the armhole area because with this being so flexible, it is, it can bend a little inside this body. So it's coming all the way from the, the foot, going up the leg, through the torso, and out this arm. You want a good amount in the arm, but don't be too worried that that some of it might be curving a little, maybe it's doing a little S curve right here because you're getting so much inside the arm. You want it down into that forearm. So you don't want to put a whole lot of polyfill until you can feel it at least down into that elbow right there. Okay, so now I know that it's, it's in there pretty good, but I've got to pack it with some polyfill. So you just can kind of turn it and start shoving some in there and, you know, work it all the way down so that it's all the way around the armature. You won't feel the armature as much when you're squeezing the arm. You're going to feel the, the polyfill around it. If that makes sense. So I'm working the, the inside of the arm first, then I'll go and put some on the outside. And it's going all the way down. I can feel it going way down into that. This is on camera here. And if you need to, then go ahead and turn the body, turn the arm. That's what's nice about the armature is you can turn it. Don't worry about it moving inside the body. You're going to love how this armature and the different poses you can get with the way it's it's totally connected all the way down to the foot and the part that comes up the spine and into the neck. You're going to love how you can um, 
have your doll in so many different positions and it just feels so sturdy. Um, to me, this is like something that they'd use for like a movie set prop like thing for, how do they do that stop motion or whatever filming? You can move the, make it look like it's walking, stop motion, however they do all that fancy photography stuff. So I'm going to stand it up so that the beads and everything get back all the way down into the hand. I want to make sure that's all in there. Give the arm a good squish a -roo right here. You're going to feel a little bit of it because that's going to feel like there's a bone in there and a shoulder. You, you know, we have bones in our body, so it feels realistic and squishy and soft at the same time. But I do feel, I do feel the armature right about here and I can work some stuffing onto that side. I'm going to lay her on her tummy and watch this. I'm going to arch her. I'm going to arch her back for you. I'm going to put her in this position. Look at that. On her tummy. Arms up, down, however. This armature is, or this, whatever you call it, product that they make for industrial use is perfect armature product. I'm going to get that up into the shoulder. And down. Okay, so I think I got enough in there. Those glass beads, there's no way that they're going to come up and out of that. There's too much polyfill there. Okay. Coming out of that end for me to tighten up. So let's put a new one. I buy these by the dozens. And if you buy these, you want you don't want the big bulky kind with the big head. You want them to be a little bit slimmer. So when you tighten this, you want to stop so you can see how that's rotating. Okay, that's good. I'm, and I'm going to wait. I always like to cut them off at the very end. Stand back up. Um, I went ahead and vacuumed the area. <laughs> so funny. And I'm going to, um, I weighed it so it was exactly the same weight that I had on the other side. And... I'm going to take some polyfill, which I said I should have done earlier, and I should have done it at the same time I was doing that one, just to prevent it from happening again. And anyway, so hopefully this helps you out that you're not having to clean up, you know, a glass bead mess or whatever your filler is. And put that down in there to block the glass beads coming back up a bit more it's also when you're sticking it in there it kind of cleans off the any of the beads that can't be stuck towards the top on the vinyl when it's fine, it can kind of stick a little bit, and then it just gets all brushed down in the bottom there. So, anyway, it's all in there, and the polyfill is right up at the top right here, and then the armature is going to go in by the elbow area, and we'll complete it, completely fill it to the top there. So, let's go ahead and stick this one in and kind of like twist it and feel it go in there. You can feel it right here. Just keep working it in there, working it down. And if you got to put the doll in your lap to do this better, then 
do it. I'm just trying to get this on video. If you're noticing this uh, little nursery plaque that I have, you can um, make your own. And there's a video that I uploaded on um, where I'm talking more about it. But um, you can follow my uh, website link. Go to my website and you'll see on my front page where you can click on and create and sample and you know, just design or upload your logo on on a, a plaque, a pillow, stickers, labels, business cards, whatever you like. Uh, there's over 300 some products, even home decor items from craft items, whatever. But if you wanted to personalize things, even gift items that you're going to like um, include with your dolls. Um, this is a sample of a little sticker. You can make stickers that have your nursery name on there. Um, you can make little onesie t-shirts with your nursery name on there. Um, blankets. All kinds of stuff. But um, you don't really need my help. In any kind. It's kind of a do-it-yourself site. But anyway, it's on my website. You just follow the little link and you don't have to pay for it until you decide you like it and then you click to order it but you can save it on your account and go back to it um, you can save all kinds of uploads of images that you own and um, or logos or ideas and and go back to it later and just keep an account for just for your your um, own personal use. Go back anytime and order it. I've had my account for over eight years and I used to make um, custom art um, for free for some friends and that's how I learned about it. Okay, got that one done here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it upright. I'm going to stuff some inside the cavity. It's almost like a turkey. <laughs> like Thanksgiving, the turkey. We're going to stuff in there inside that cavity where the turkey neck is. I remember my first Thanksgiving where my parents let me pull the turkey neck out of the cavity and stuff. Back then we stuffed our turkeys with stuffing. Nowadays they tell you not to do that. Okay, so got that amount in there. I'm going to keep going. You're not going to be able to fill this armature spine at all in the front, but just like if you were to fill somebody's back, you would fill their their spine a little bit. So I'm like not too concerned about you filling possibly, although I have a good amount of padding on this one. There's a good amount of padding that you don't even you don't even I don't feel it at all. Feels good. Nice and little plump. Plump body. In fact, I might have felt her a little full than the other two, but you can always adjust it. So now, this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to turn this camera down so you can see it. Okay, we only want one of these coming up. This is already probably the height that I would want going up into the head. This one is... a is a little bit longer and it's probably just because this one kind of curved a little let me just kind of straighten it out and they'll be exactly the same so it doesn't matter which one you're going to shorten off because you only want one so you can kind of look is this centered more for the neck 
right here or do you want this one to be the neck? I feel like I want this one to be my neck and this one I'm going to go down. I can go down this. You want to go low enough to where it doesn't interfere when you're putting the head on and then this bulkiness is in the way. Okay, I'm back and I've, all we have left to do is get the head on here. And I already, off camera, removed the the other one that was up here. We, we cannot fit two of these into the head. Now if you use the skinnier um, uh, one throughout the whole body and didn't use the thicker one, um, you won't have to, you know, worry about trying to get um, it into the the head. But I like the idea of a fatter, um, stronger um, it's getting late at night and I forgot the word for it. Armature. <laughs> it's only two in the morning and I'm just trying to get this done. The back of your neck um, I don't know if you could feel your spine goes, it doesn't stop, you know, it, it continues on up the back of your neck there. You can feel your spine goes up into your neck. Um, that's what supports your head. So it just makes sense that this would be on the back of the neck in the doll and not in the front. And then I'll put a lot of uh, filler in the front to to secure that so it's not so it stays more in the back so that way you'll be able to um, bend the head and it'll stay looking up looking all the way up looking down it'll still turn and I might have to do this off camera um, and then come back and show you but basically I'm going to stuff some filler in here and I just really can't do it at this angle here and I am wanting to sell this doll and I want it done really well so I'll be right back 